if you don't curb authoritarianism where you see it. It just grows. It grows. And most people are those, well, I just want it to be over people. Yep. Well, uh, we saw what happened in, uh, in Canada, which does not have a Second Amendment, and this is what you get. At least 10 dead and 15 wounded across 13 locations in Kanukistan's Saskatchewan province in a mass stabbing spree with suspects still at large. Wow. Two men did all that? Yeah. Two men went on a rampage across Saskatchewan using knives. See, now, this is an argument for common sense knife control. You know, you should have a two-day mandatory waiting period when you want to get your knife, and you should never keep your knives, spoons, and forks in the same place at the same time. That's not safe. You should make sure that your knives are out of reach of your kids. You should have a trigger lock on your knife. And, oh, my God, folding knives, that's an assault knife. (laughs) <laughs> Assault knives are bad. Machetes are, are the scariest ones of all. And don't even get me started on swords. It makes my balls shrivel. Yep. Wow. This is ridiculous. Now, look, I mean, if they were allowed to carry pistols, these guys probably wouldn't got away with this. Exactly. They did. Somebody would have shot sec- them. If you had a Second Amendment in Canada, this would never have happened. They would have gotten one, they, maybe two people before people realized what was going on. Bang, bang. It would have shot started me down, there. Done. And they may have got one or two. You're right. One or two people. And then it would have I'm been I'm sorry. Over. You're going to the great beyond. <laughs> but, uh, sooner or later, the dude perpetrating is going to get his blood sugar, lo- our blood pressure lowered to zero, and that'll be it. Yep. A pound of flesh? Oh, well, that sounds painful. Here, take two of these. <laughs> done. Yep. Yeah. Well, Massive manhunt is underway. Now, does anybody know? I'm, I'm not sure. Has anyone found these guys? <laughs> well, how many days ago did this happen? Uh, let me see here. This was originally posted on the 5th. So yesterday, this must have happened on the 4th then. All Unless right. it happened early in the day and this was a later loading. Well, you can always do a search to see if they found them. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. Do you have the perpetrator's name? The perpetrators? Well, these are the two suspects anyway. Let me see. Uh, Canada... Stabbing, mass standing, su- yeah. mass stabbing, stabbing suspects. suspects. Let's see what we got. One suspect found dead. Yeah. Brother remains at large. Oh, it's, it's his brother. Okay. Yeah, so they're bro bros. How did he die? Uh, let's see here. Um, was a suspect mass stabbing in Canada left 10 people dead, has been found dead with injuries that do not appear to be self inflicted. So did they go scream on each other? Maybe. You know, at the end of the movie, they're like, all right, we got to make sure you don't go too deep. <laughs> you fucking kidding me. <laughs> yeah, by the way, these guys totally look like Sandersons. I'm pretty sure this is an assumed name, just to, just to look at them. I mean, maybe I'm off, yeah, who I'm knows? off base here. <laughs> I don't know. These do not look like Sandersons. Yeah, I don't know. They look like Sandersabies. <laughs> Sandersabi. <laughs> They don't look like brothers, though. <laughs> they don't really. I don't, maybe they don't, they're stunning and brave indigenous community people. Maybe they're half they're, brothers. They don't actually look like full brothers to me. But. Uh, maybe. Or maybe they tried to whitewash the picture just like CNN did after the, the Waukesha massacre. Maybe. It's like, oh, these guys, uh, the, the, he looks too black. we got to make sure we, we lighten it up to further our white supreme pizza now. <clears throat> yep. But this is not the only play. Well, or should I say, but this is not. Unique at all. No. It's everywhere where there's no guns. Record high knife crime reported in gun-free Britain. This was January of 2020. Brit tie on. Yeah. Police logged year to date in September of 2020, 44,771 knife crime offenses. Wow. 40% of the 617 homicides in 2019 were committed with a knife or a sharp object. Knife crime in Britain hits record high as offenses reported every 11 minutes. What is, let's just do a search for knife crime in the USA. Let's see what we get. Knife crime in the USA. Couldn't have asked me for this yesterday. Ah, I, didn't have, <laughs> I'm, listen, I have a TBI, bro. I know, man. All right, let me see. FBI stats. Oh, 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 wah, 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 wah. oh no, we can't. We can't let people see this. FBI stats show knives kill far more people than rifles in America. It's not even close. Mm-hmm. Oops, and you want to know what's even deadlier? What? 
Now, I don't want this to happen, but I've had visions of this, and I, I write my, my novels that are 100% raw evil. But just imagine this. You're in a tightly confined space, and there is a gun-free zone, and somehow you pull out a katana. <laughs> not not one of, not one of those uh, pussy ass katanas. I'm talking like a real fucking katana, like one from Cold Steel, which are not that expensive. You could quite literally kill dozens and people and wound probably two times as many before they take you down. Yep. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Wow! Wow! FBI shows three times this many. Oh yeah. my God! Like handguns and firearms are still up higher on the list. Uh huh. But if you're demonizing AR-15, that's a rifle. Yeah, let's demonize knives. Yeah, let's demonize. Let, knives. How, how, how about we demonize fucking cars when people drive them through crowds? Yeah, I mean, what we get to twenty-five thousand? No, actually, no. It's more like fifty thousand traffic deaths every year. Half of those. Are under the influence of alcohol. Mm -hmm. And let's, you know, hey, what about the assault lighters? Yeah, For the all assault the lighters. With, who yeah. smoke and get cancer. Yeah, assault vaping. Yeah. Yeah. You just happen to be breathing that shit near people. We don't want it. Oh, well, you know, uh, you know, vaping is just making smoking, you know, four times more efficient. So it, Allegedly. <laughs> well, you think about it. It's like pretty much raw nicotine in there with flavoring. Yeah. Yeah. And it, the amount they can breathe in, I mean, it's insane. <laughs> but that's a side note. Side note. Side note. Uh, and then, of course, there's China. China's stabbing problem. Why are mass knife attacks so common? This article is only a month old. Mm -hmm. Wednesday's knife attack is the latest in a series of such incidents that have led to 100 deaths in the past decade. That's really not very much. No, that, it is often found that the common culprit is a lack of mental health infrastructure and more than 100 million people in dire need of it. Well, if, yeah, if I lived in a communist shithole, I'd probably need psychiatric care, too. And, well, they also have, uh, you know, communist health care, which is not really that good. Yeah. Look at that. Whew. Knife attacks. Yeah, there was, uh, I remember the one in June of 2021. There was one dude stabbed a passersby in a pedestrian shopping street, killing six, injuring 14. Yep. But, you know. And listen. Guns are the problem. What I'm going to tell you this right now. Stabbing a human being as a human being is the equivalent of mental rape. If you have dude. any type of morals at all. Just that scene in St Saving Private Ryan where the Nazi slowly stabs the dude to death, like looking right in his eyes, that is difficult to watch. I know. You know it's fake, but it's still hard to watch. Yeah. And listen, I mean, you pull out a knife and you're like, this is going into that motherfucker. Yeah. And I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll walk it off. Walk it off. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful with those boy knives. Them assault knives, they'll uh, they'll just jump up and start stabbing people on their own. No, you know, the ones that shoot the blade across the room? Yeah. Those exist, but they suck. Yeah, and, and if the, it's a longer handle, it's a bump handle. You got to be careful of that shit, too, yeah. Yeah, it's a bump handle. It's more efficient. <laughs> Now listen. You see how stupid it sounds when you apply it to anything else? I can go to Target right now. Walk down the chick uh, or the kitchen wares aisle, and literally buy a set of chef knives for about anywhere from thirty to a hundred and twenty bucks, and have enough there to f just start waylaying people if I wanted to. Yeah, dude, you remember the scene in John Wick Three when all he did was start smashing open cases with yeah. knives and hatchets? That was awesome. That was the best. <laughs> That scene was so fucked up. Oh, that, was, that was good. That was good. The whole theater was like, ha, ah, ha, ah, oh. I was the same way. We're all jumping at the same time. I was like, oh. And so we're all no, one ah. high five now. Especially when I, like, the dog bit that dude in the dick. I, oh. I literally got up and I was like, ah. People are laughing at me. Oh, it's like when a dude gets spear tackled and the helmet cracks his cup and you're like, all right, we got we to give him like five. Hey, hey. 
Let, let him work. He let can him. have a broken leg. Get his ass off the field. We got a game to play. Oh, we got spear tackle in the nuts. All right, let's give him five. Give him five. Give him five. Give him five. Hey, take your time, bro. Take yeah. your time. Hey, refs, refs, you, you gonna, guys going to go get some Jimmy John's? Yeah, I'll take a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> but have no fear for, for those, uh, you know, dreaded assault knives in your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you can get this. Uh, go to slash hyphen pro.com and you can get uh, slash resistant body armor it's a nice base layer there uh-huh and you can get Cover it on ship. ebay too Good. i got two sets of this there you go now uh, t- see shirt and pants well and, yeah because you don't want anybody slashing at your dick that'd be uh, yeah and it, it bad really, form. well the thing is it's, it's not the dick it's the femoral artery well that too they, you don't they want to even either. nick that thing you're done and if you can't get a tourniquet on it you're not going to make the emergency room mm-hmm and uh, tourniquets, sir, then those are just all kinds of fun and games on their own. Oh, my God. Nobody ever lost a limb to a tourniquet that was incorrectly applied or anything. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. But the thing is, Jail. is uh, when we went to, to D.C., I was wearing, or when I went to D.C., I was wearing a suit of this, yeah. and I had a vest on top of that. It was very smart. Just in case. And then uh, there's, I had the gloves. There's little yep. gloves you could put on to protect your hands. And I had a balaclava made of the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. your ESP saved your ass that day. Because now we know for a fact that DOJ had memoranda and other shit proving that BLM and Antifa members were planning on posing as MAGA people to try to cause some shit. Gee, that whole situation, it just <sighs> smells like bullshit. Glow-in-the-dark bullshit. <sighs> Which I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but quite frankly, I don't care. Because Susie can smurf my balls. Fuck him! Fuck him in the asshole with a big rubber dick. Mm. Then break it off and beat him with the rest of it. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.